so hello uh, this is our implementation of uh, shower loop uh, concept so this is like a work in progress but basically all the mechanical uh, parts are uh, connected so we are now just tuning some electronic uh, components and uh, also will then uh, build the, the cover uh, around this so you'll be able to so actually uh, so we'll test it in, in actual shower mode but uh, talking about like uh, theory of this process so basically the idea is to save as much electricity and water as possible while also preserving uh, very uh, clean water uh, quality for for the user right so this system is for it's, it's pretty big system so this implementation uh, we wanted to test for a small uh, like a hotel like a, com a community uh, so let's say it can be maybe 10 people uh, can, can can take shower uh, a day so that's why it has a pretty big first of all like a pipes and also a pretty big septic uh, system underneath so, so then uh, you'll be able to uh, to make water um, come through the septic so it, it's it's more clean uh, before entering the filters but let's start from from some 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 point some 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 beginning like and i'll explain how the system will work will work so the septic tanks uh, we have four of them and uh, they have some amount of of water that so the each one of them will have the more and more clean uh, water right because they have like this overflow between uh, all of them right so initially let's say let's start with this this, this bottom right let's, let, let's say that the user will stand here and will have like a, a traditional uh, control for, for the shower to be able to have uh, uh, to control the temperature of the, of the shower right and also to have like this sink um, uh, for convenience uh, so uh, water will go first of all to the first uh, septic tank and uh, this tank will also have this pump inside and this pump will will be enabled by time so for now we design the system in a way that after one hour of use uh, this pump will be turned on and will pump out all the 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 dirtiest water from this first septic tank but other than that uh, while you're using the system the water goes from the from tank to tank and uh, so it enters it will enter the the system from from the very uh, from this tank right so the, the very last one so you will have like a connection here and this is like our pump it's a DC pump it's just 60 watts it's very energy efficient and it can uh, create up to uh, two uh, bars of pressure uh, so uh, it, uh, the water then goes to, to towards the this pre-filter thing uh, it's just like a, uh, for the um, very like big parts of dirt and maybe some, some soap and uh, skin partic parts and, and stuff like that and it's like a self uh, flushing filter so you can just enable this uh, you op open this uh, thing and uh, the, it will uh, self clean uh, then as you can see water goes toward this uh, pipe and enter the main filter uh, which are based on like a li linear cartridges so you will have activated carbon uh, and also sand so right now we have this still like a filling which which came from the from the from the factory so we'll replace all that so it will start with some sand uh, and then uh, the actual uh, activated carbon will be here so we'll be able to remove them and uh, replace the this filling or we can replace the whole uh, cartridge so we, we, we don't know for sure but the idea is that you can remove and replace and it's it should be pretty easy so we'll, we're, we're heading this direction uh, and uh, because we have so big septic 
volume, then you should be able to replace pretty rarely. Uh, but we'll, we'll we'll see how often actually. So so then uh, all the water collects again to one pipe, and uh, here we have electromagnetic uh, uh, valves controlled by an Arduino. So like the the actual loop is when both of them are open and then water goes here towards the UV lamp but uh, also there is a possibility to fill the system from this uh, portion so this will be con can be connected to a water grid but it's just one way it's not necessary to use this uh, but if if the if you have like a water grid nearby then one, when this valve will be open, then water can actually come and uh, also uh, to, to, you know, to, to change the water in the system, let's say, right? You can do it from this valve or you can just add the new water just uh, towards the, the bottom of the, of the shower. Uh, so two possibilities, right? So again, uh, back to the loop, water will go uh, here and uh, through the UV lamp. And then it actually comes to the shower system and like, a, I would say like a, in a room temperature water, right? Right. But to be able to heat it up, even like initially, we have a pretty small uh, boiler to uh, just 10 liters, uh, which, which is here, right? So it will be able to uh, uh, retain uh, the temperature so let's say we can tune the, the temperature uh, towards the uh, comfortable one and uh, but basically the idea of shower loop is when when you use the system like let's say you have a lot of people right then uh, you don't need to warm up water uh, that much basically if you have let's say 10 people in a row that's the most efficient way of using the system. When one leaves, another comes and the water is still warm. You can even uh, insulate the pipes if you want. And basically in that case, you would just need to add uh, just a little bit of energy to make the water comfortable. But still you can increase the temperature on the boiler and also here by mixing the, not cold, but uh, the, the water that is like a room temperature with, uh, with uh, hot water. So yeah, here you can just use the shower and again, again the water goes here and this is it's just like a loop, right? And so yeah, how we see the, the modes, the shower loop should have some modes of operation, but in our implementation we decided to simplify it to the, the, the most possible uh, uh, way. So then the idea is that once, so we know how much time these valves or the pump are working and we estimate that after one hour of work we will just switch the mode automatically so then uh, in, in this situation we close the, the valves and uh, we enable this pump so we clean the first septic and then let's say it's, it's, if it's connected to the grid then we just open this valve so then uh, by Arduino I mean by the, by the, by the software and then the, the system is being uh, refilled via this uh, pump, uh, well, uh, sorry, pump, yeah. Uh, so then it, it, it has like around 10 liter, you, you need around 10 liter of 10 liters of water to actually refill the system, right? But as I said, if you don't have access to the grid, let's say if it's like a portable solution, then you can just refill after this, uh, this water uh, was, was clean, cleaned out of this septic tank, then you can just like uh, add uh, a new water here, let's say 10 liter water, and then the system will be able to work again with, with like cleaner water. Uh, I mean, like a fresh water, right? And also, after some time, you will be able, you will need to clean this pre filter and also replace the, the content of those filters. But for now, we don't know when exactly we will need to do this because in our implementation of the system, actually, the most uh, cleaning is done uh, the majority of cleaning is done by the septic by the fact that water just stays there and uh, like 
big particles they just uh, like go uh, to the bottom of the septics and uh, and more more cleaner water they, they it just goes further and that's why we expect that those filters will not be uh, need to change them as often as uh, as we saw the septic tank as it is as in the original shower loop uh, implementation that we have found in the internet so yeah uh, so I expect that in the next video we'll show how it works with water and uh, yeah we'll build like a, this a cabin around this and um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to show how it actually works for the user. Uh, thank you. See you soon.